Good morning, Facebook. It's Patrick here for your daily dose of complete health. And I just wanted to share what I was doing yesterday and why I think it's really important that people consider exercise as a form of, uh, sorry, walking as a form of exercise. So I, me and my partner, we took uh, a walk down to Jevington and then we decided from Jevington that we were going to take a long walk over the top of the downs. Now, a lot of people wouldn't ever consider doing long walks as a form of exercise for their body. But it's probably one of the easiest and one of the best forms of exercise for people across the board. So whether you are the fittest person in the world or the unfittest person in the world, pretty much anyone can partake in this type of activity. It's low impact, it improves our muscle systems, it improves our cardiovascular systems, improves muscle tone, it increases bone density, it reduces risks of cancer, stroke and heart disease. So this is a form of exercise that is just pretty much amazing across the board for almost all different types of people, ages, diseases, you name it, this kind of exercise is absolutely brilliant. And it's just walking. Now, interestingly enough, in an hour of brisk walking, you can do anywhere from 7,000 steps plus, which if we equate that into calorific burn, we can go anywhere from four to 500 calories for the average 200 pound person. And that is just simply by walking at a pace of about three miles an hour. Now, three miles an hour is not a horrific pace. Most people can manage to walk at three miles an hour. And yet, like I say, just on an hour's walk, walking at three miles an hour, you can burn 500 calories, which is the equivalent to a whole meal. So equivalent to a whole meal, assuming that you're not eating a Big Mac, fries, and a Coke. So why do, why do people not feel that walking can be as good as other forms of exercise? Well, I think a lot of people believe that you have to go to a gym and you have to pick up weights or you have to run on a treadmill or you have to do a, a form of exercise where you're sweating profusely. Well, no, you don't. The, the form of walking has already been shown that 30 minutes of brisk walking has been shown to not only slow down, but in certain cases, reverse the effects of tumors on the body. It's been shown to increase lung capacity, increase muscle mass, reduce pretty much all risks of cardiovascular disease and stroke. It's also been shown that it can be one of the best forms of rehabilitation for people that are coming back from injuries, especially lower limb or lower back injuries. This form of exercise can be done by all of these people. Now, obviously, if you're having a problem and walking is creating the pain, then this may not be the form of exercise for you. But there is almost no one on the planet that I can think of unless there is some sort of severe disability or injury that walking is not an appropriate form of exercise. And like I say, it can pretty much be the solution to a multitude of your different health diseases by just taking a 30 minute walk per day you may see a lot of improvements in all of those areas that I was talking about. Like I say, your lung capacity, your cardiovascular system, your bone density, your muscle strength, your muscle flexibility, etc., etc., etc. So next time you're pondering about what would be the best form of exercise, put on your walking boots or your shoes, get yourself down to the downs, take a walk, enjoy the beauty of the local area that we live in, but actually get an excellent form of exercise as well. It's also something you can do with your whole family or your partner or your friends. And it's also one of those things that is completely unrestricted with the times and the moments that we're currently living in. Patrick here from Complete Earth. That's your daily dose. And I'll speak to you guys again soon. Take care for now.